Hey everyone! We're going to be making use of Blender's amazing material node system to generate sonic and eye texture. If you're artistically inclined or have access to an image editing program, you can probably just draw his eyes. It's going to be easier and faster for you, but if you want them perfect, or you're not artistically inclined or don't have image editing programs, Blender's got you covered. We'll start off by getting rid of the default cube, and in top view, add a plane. The render engine isn't too important at this time, so we can use Cycles or Eevee. And since we're working with colors that we're going to bake, I'm going to switch over to Standard Color. Expand this lower window a bit, and let's switch over to the Shader Editor. Click New here to create a new material. If we switch over to Material View in the 3D viewport, we can watch as our materials change in real time. First thing I want to do is select this shader, hit Shift S, and change it to an emission shader. Now the scene lighting won't affect our baked texture. You can technically bypass the emission shader and just plug directly into the surface output without it, but this way works as well. Now we want a texture coordinate node, a mapping node, and a gradient node. If you're using the Node Wrangler add-on, there's a bunch of shortcuts for quickly adding a lot of these nodes. For example, Ctrl T adds the texture coordinate and mapping node. If we connect them all up, we can see what the material looks like so far. We'll switch the gradient over to spherical and adjust its location so the circle is at the center of our plane, which happens to be at negative 0.5, negative 0.5. The circle is currently too big, so we could scale it down, but the center point of scaling is in a weird location. So instead duplicate the mapping node, zero out the location, and drop it here, which will give us a better option. Now if we scale using this second mapping node, it does what I want. Now let's add a color ramp. change the location of the stops, and switch the interpolation over to constant. And boom! Basic eye shape! Drop a mix RGB node here to add another layer of color to our material. And we'll keep the rest of this pretty simple by just copying and reusing these initial five nodes. Connecting this color output to the factor input of the mix node will make it act as a mask for the first color. Adjusting the stops here will change the size of the sphere. Switching back to linear here will give us a gradual fade instead of the hard edge on this new circle. Using the color 1 field of the mix node, we can change the color of our new circle. But his eye color is kind of a gradient from dark to light green, so let's duplicate our first nodes again. And switch the gradient back to linear. We don't need the second mapping node. and I'm going to use the UV output of the texture coordinate, just in case at some point we want to use the UV map instead of the mapping node for positioning. Change the color ramp over to linear, and rotate our gradient by negative 90 on the Z axis. I want the gradient to be more gradual, 
so scale on the Y axis and adjust the X positioning. Now we're going to change the colors over to a couple of greens. We're going to need a few more layers, so duplicate the mix node. Duplicate our favorite five nodes, connect to the factor, and change the color ramp. If you want, you can slightly scale to adjust the size of the pupil. And now we need one more layer for the little light reflection. Duplicate the same nodes. Reposition and scale this layer. Switch the color ramp to linear and adjust the stops. Get it to the exact location and size that you want. And now that we've got something that resembles Sonic's eyes, let's bake it to a texture. Switch over to Cycles, create an image texture node in the material, create a new image of whatever size that you want, depending on what resolution you want it to be. Name the texture, Switch over to the image editor and open up the texture we're using so we can watch it bake. Switch the bake type to emit. And click bake. I accidentally have my sample set way too high so you can just cancel it at this point and it should pop up as finished. But we can also change the render samples to something lower and let it bake all the way through and it'll look exactly the same. So now we can save this image and we did it! And at any point you can go back and adjust your material and just bake it again. Or bake a new material. Do whatever you want! Sonic's eyes! Complete! Obviously this isn't for everyone. If you just wanted to draw the eyes, you could probably just draw the eyes, right? I, for a very long time, did not have a excellent image editing program or artistic capabilities. So creating these material nodes would help me get like perfect eyes and it just, it makes the model look better than having just kind of like a scrawled eye in there. So that's why I do this. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you're not. If you want to check out this eye material or the Sonic model, we have them all up on our Patreon for free for everyone. So go ahead, go download it. Have a good time. Make some crazy Sonic stuff.
Thank you again. Stay safe. I love you all. Goodbye.